Angel Wing. In case of emergency, the narrator acts as a flotation device. Chapter 5. Tales of Mending and Mystery! The next two weeks went surprisingly quickly for Delilah. Her parents visited her, more three t- her visited her three more times, and her friends visited her twice more, but Alistair was there every other day, it seemed. Visible or not. They sometimes had very lengthy discussions, but these were rare, considering that physicians kept coming in and out of her room, checking on her. Otherwise, Alistair would be invisible, except for a distinct hints, a slight cough, a clearing of the throat, a shuffling footstep. Her arm finally healed, and Delilah began reading to pass the time. She read everything she could get her hands on, from newspapers to, of previous days to health magazines. Alistair helped out by bringing a few favorites, or willing to share stories or experiences he had heard on his travels. They were quite amazing, and quite amazing they were, too. That sounds absolutely fantastic, said Delilah after hearing about the city that Alistair lived in while away. A place called Sanctum. It's a marvelous place. That is, m- That much is certain, said Alistair. Where is it exactly? I've never heard of it before, said Delilah. Alistair looked around nervously around the ward, then scooted his chair closer to the bed. You can't get there by normal means. What do you mean? It's not a real place. I did not say that. Don't put words in my mouth, said Alistair. His voice was patient. It means that there is only one way to get there. It can't be seen in this world, Delilah. I don't understand because I'm still a girl, said Delilah, perplexed. It's a tricky concept to wrap the mind around, even for me. The theory is that Atria and this world are mirrored realities. In this world, technology reigns. But in my world, magic replaces it. There are no vehicles, machinery, or electricity. Magic? Real magic? Delilah's mind was reeling. How could something of such wonder be real? But didn't Alistair's forged hand prove that magic was possible? I must be going. I have things to do, said Alistair, standing up. Do you have to? I would like to hear more, because I'm just kind of bored here, and you just kind of, like, come in and out. Said Delilah, looking looking let down. Alistair looked disappointed as well, but answered encouragingly. I will tell you everything in time. Promise? Promise. Delilah held her arms, and Alistair came forward and hugged her. The sweet scent of vanilla surrounded her. Delilah felt warm and comfortable. All she wanted to do was lay there, being held by Alistair. But she knew it wouldn't last. Alistair pulled away and walked solemnly to the door. Before opening the door, he turned around. You'll be able to leave in three days. I'll come to pick you up. Your family will be pleased to have you back home. Mike's invited us to come on a rock climbing trip with himself and Annalise. Would you like to come? I've never been rock climbing before. Neither have I. Ha ha ha, said Alistair as he opened the door and vanished. End of chapter five.